uh, guess what I have not done or guess what I have done we got five minutes to spare before we have to be somewhere else so we came down here to have a look see and I don't have a detector with me of no sorts I have a pinpointer mind you I could go sit there in that hole with a pinpointer and play but look what it looks like summer has arrived in Ireland folk summer has arrived I'll carry on going with the 360 there's our pleasant little town back there and the clouds look like they want to do a bit of cumulo nimbus. I'll just keep going around. But I, I need to say thanks for being here. It's great of you to do. So um, of a different sort. Uh, we were down here on the beach much earlier today. I didn't have the detector with me. Uh, so we did a bit of a mess movie, a mess uh, recording spotting the swallows uh, I'll include that and then I asked a good lady to come throw me off which she promptly did to be rid of me and I did a, an impromptu 10 hole hunt and that was fun so following now random bits of this and random bits of that and then now impromptu 10 hole hunt thanks for watching I'm not taking pictures of you. Videos. I'm not doing anything. I'm, oh, I'm, see your stand. I'm just standing here waiting for a swallow to come by. <laughs> Careful. Here comes the rabid one. She'll probably try and bite me now after trying to be a swallow. Are you a swan? I'm a swan. Are you John Swan? Any family? No. Ah. <laughs> I'm an only child. I'm only child swan. I'm just a buzzard. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Where have all the horizons gone? Gone to Spain, everyone. Hmm. Makes me wonder, really makes me wonder, what we had for breakfast. I reckon now that's the answer. We didn't have breakfast or brunch. We were going to have lunch. There's her cuteness herself again. And then now impromptu in Holland. Thanks for watching. Splitting the stones. I'm back here at South Beach. I've got two or three hours just to have a quick look see. Look at that for a tranquil picture. Tranquil, tranquil. But let's have a look see. Those numbers are ringing pretty, but those are also ringing pretty. Uh, ringing pretty bottle tops or cans. So let's have a look see. It's over there somewhere. See if we can find it. I'll show you when I have it. Would it detect copper and... Yep, all of it. Yeah. There we have it. Bottle cap. Yeah, squashed okay. bottle That's cap. Wonderful. wonderful. Now, this is the next signal. Somewhat more promising. But not when I turn the phone on. Yeah, those are the numbers. Mmm. Goes all over the show. So let's see what it is. Another Spanish coin. We'll include that in the next... Uh, Episode, episode three of the Euro coin countries coin map. But for now, we'll just carry on going and having fun here in the sun. Fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Ireland, what a terrific place when the sun shines. Okay, let's see. Have we another coin? Why should we doubt we have another coin? Lower 60s. Let's find it.
No, it's not a coin. It's the last bit, the bonnet, the remnants of a, a little toy car. That's what it is. But it rang nice numbers, didn't it? Ah, well, we have to find them too, don't we? Does that count for a car, for a toy? I don't think so. I've just had a thought. Why don't we do a 10 all hunt? So this will be target number four. Bottle cap, pull tab, foil, can slaw. When it jumps like that, it could be anything, any of the above. Any of the above, especially when I've got the phone on. It's disappeared into there. So let me use the pinpointer and see what we can find here. So this will be target number four. Look at that for a picture. Pretty picture. Now I can't really see the back screen. So if it's blurry, blurry, I do ask your apologies because it's very bright out here. Very. Ah, I do see it. It's a tiny fragment of Canslaw. Look at that. Tiny. Picked that up here in this whole wide wilderness. So that was number four. Oh, yeah. We've had a bottle cap, we've had a coin, we've had a bit of a car, and now a bit of a cancel, bit of cancel. We're getting all sorts, aren't right. we? You can tell. I know that young lad. Well, I don't know him. I've never spoken to him, but I've just met his mammy, and his pappy. They've got a hunting ch channel, Irish Safaris. Uh, look on YouTube. I'm going to put the links in this card. Okay, that card. You know what card? There's the young lad. Just got himself a little doggy there. And there goes a boat. I've seen that boat before in my life. And yes, we'll talk again. I'm not going to count this as number five because uh, there's quite a lot of signals like this in this vicinity and I know what it is. So listen there. And then on the other occasion, you'll see 90s flicking. Now that's wire, and it's lying on the surface, that's why I say. It's a uh, fencing wire. So I have a theory that this comes down the Avoca River, which is behind us there, out the mouth, and then it gets put here. Yeah, I've taken uh, dozens and dozens and dozens of bits of this kind of wire off this beach uh, out there in the distance there could be a uh, retaining wall made with Gambian what are they called you know what they call those wire mesh things and these deteriorate and this is what we're left with now so uh, just to show you what the signal sounds like or what it does sound like and still there is no horizon Still, this haziness is around, but still, it's gorgeous and beautiful out here. Hope you're enjoying this as much as what I am. Thanks for being here, as I say. Okay, let's go and try and find them. Well, listen to this one. Much the same. Listen to that. So I flicked at it because it gave me a 14 there at one point. And there we go. There it is. See there? Listen to the look. And that's what happens when you flick out the tent peg. There you go. That's number five. And I've spotted number five point five, yeah. So I was going to tell you I've got to go home shortly to go and bry. And a lighter unlocks a bry, doesn't it? That's my rules. That one still works. So somebody came tumbling down here. So I'm going to investigate for coins. So this lighter will go into my pocket. It's not very hot, so it hasn't been lying there long. So now I've got something to wipe the bry with. Ha ha! That was number 5.5. And look at it. I'll keep... Uh, sorry, I'll stop showing you this before you get miffed with me and push off. We've got some 22s here. It's jumpy with the phone, but they were ringing 22s before I pulled the phone out. Foil? You reckon? Let's see. 
stay live here with me. So you can't say I doctored anything. Okay, I have to put off the, or mute the detector. It's in there. Ah, you see? You see? Off a top of a milk bottle or something. One of those kinds, yogurt type, foily foils. And it's glorious, it still is. This is payback for all the days I'm out here and the wind and the rain and, and the cold and the three layers of coats and jumpers and all sorts. This is glorious. Really, really staggeringly beautiful. I come closer to the water. This is sort of the fresher stuff that's been pushed in and turned around to see if there's any different signals here. Um, I thought it was a another wire one but it uh, grunted slightly differently so I thought well, let me just check and it's not a bit of wire it's a bit of boat scat so there number seven is a bit of boat scat that almost looks like once upon a time it could have uh, been uh, coated with some form of protection like chrome or something like that uh, the rest of it's all rust so into the bucket that goes that was number seven and I won't say it again. I came in this direction here to see if there's any fresh drops here. Uh, those ladies over there were sitting here somewhere. Uh, anyway, they were roaring at their kids there to move closer. So they swung here. See there's a 20 all sorts. So this needs to be looked at because it could just be a piece of wire now if they were playing here in the wire then it's not good so I did flick and let's see if I can flick it out again so it seems to be signals all over so let's have a look see here what this could be uh, where is this thing there we go somebody's homemade blade look at that I might own that and put a handle on it. What do you think of that idea? Another project to complete then. Yeah, I've got the owning tools. It's got a big fat nick in it. I'll own that out. Uh, and then we give it a handle. So that was number eight, I think. Yes, number eight. Right. There's something here. See there, all sorts of jumpy numbers. So it's probably a piece of rusty boat scat. So we'll find it and we'll call that number nine. Number nine is a piece of more coated, plastic coated wire. There you have it. Many bits later, but we've got number nine out now. Well, these numbers are jumpy and all over the shop. Listen to that. Probably a piece of crud again. Cruddy coin. Well, that'll be a nothing new and nothing strange. So that'll be number 10. So let's see if we can find it and identify what it is. Because I need to start doing a wrap up. Well, I need to start saying time for me to move on to go and have this ride that I was on about. So I'll try and find this and then I'll tell you what it is oh well can't win them all sometimes you have to lose so 10 holes done uh, scat that wire 10 peg uh, we found 5.5 was a usable lighter and we found one 10 cent euro coin there you have it I'm still here I've got to go home now as I said I've got to go torture myself uh, with a bit of steak and chicken wings and whatever on the coals and that I'm sure you'll agree with me is severe punishment severe severe so as per always thanks for watching do like subscribe do all those nice things uh, comment love hearing your comment to the folk that I've met today uh, on the beach on this very beach uh, very interesting 
chats and discussions. Firstly, with uh, Maria about her husband's Irish safaris, uh, about Bultong and about South Africa and about hunting and about all sorts of good things. And then Ken and his crew on the beach and thanks for the beer. And Ken is a silversmith and he likes coins and he knows about these clever things. This is terrific. This is why we get out here and we have chats and we learn from each other and we share experiences. I'm going to say, as always, stay safe, stay free and be happy. Bye. So there you go. Our beach find today got our fire going. Got the, well, the fire light is gone. Then we'll get the charcoal up to speed and then we'll brine. Promise. If you're wondering what we're going to have for dessert with the braai, uh, would you stand in the sun? There we go, look at that. Against a red apron. That's dessert. No, put it away from the silly thing. Put it away now. Why do you put it like upside down? Put it with the tips upwards so that we have a nice photo. There you go. That's out of the garden. We're four in the house, so you can do the math yourself. I'll get five of them, and the others can have a third each. There we go. Look there. Cool. Lovely. There's a bush there against the wall. Oh, look, there's toes. <laughs> so what did I say? A few steaks and chicken wings. There's the sunlight directly behind me, so it's a bit difficult to get them in nicely. But there you have them. Look there. Look there. Look at that.